Morning, custom made wooden furniture can really take your home decor to the next level. And here to showcase some of their top of the line pieces are Lamon and Jason Logue from Logue Brothers Family Furniture. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. So you guys are a Bainbridge based family business. You've been in business for you said about a year now. A little over a year. Uh, what has that been like? You know, teaming up the the family, the brothers here, to really bring these kind of one of a kind pieces of artwork and and things that we're sitting on here into people's homes. Well, it's been really fun for us. <laughs> I mean, it was something that we both had a passion doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, we've both dealt in antique furniture and used furniture, you know, throughout our lifetime. So, you know, this is something too. When you have pieces like this, it isn't just a table that's holding something. The, people stop and they notice these things. Right. I mean, we're sitting on some of your chairs here. You have just amazing things. What is that like when you are able to have these very unique pieces that you know become really a part of a, a person's home that other people recognize then and then they maybe want to see in their home? Well, what we wanted to do was uh, bring something different. Um, you know, you have your traditional furniture stores and they all carry the same stuff. Uh, we wanted to be able to add a more unique look to your home, something that when your guests come in, they get that wow factor. You know, like, where did you get that from? Mm -hmm. And of course, we hope that they'll tell them that they got it from Love Brothers Furniture. <laughs> right, there you go. So see, it's, it's a nice circle that goes on here. So you guys actually hand carved this headboard, which is absolutely huge. It looks phenomenal. What goes into making a piece like this? Every bit of it is reclaimed lumber. Wow. Uh, just takes a lot of time, a lot of skill. Luckily, we have a great father that is a, uh, he's a, got a good mind, uh, imagination, so he helps us out a lot too. But uh, yeah, there's, it's a whole family process. I can't even imagine the creativity that has to go in just the first part of it when you're just laying it out and drawing it before you actually start making the cuts and putting it together. I mean, you have the cut out here. You have a little bit of, you know, the rope and just every little detail kind of makes things that much more special. What is that like when you're able to put this from you know, sketch maybe you have to actually seeing it here now? Uh, kind of like a puzzle. Uh, we actually start off with a projector and we draw it all out how we mm. want it to look and then we, we configure our boards and our cutouts and so forth and just place it in place. Um, it's a lot of hard work. Uh, the, the headboards are a little heavy because they're solid wood, mm -hmm. um, but these will last you um, versus some of the other competitions. I'm not trying to bash, but these, these are made from solid wood. So. Right, and you're actually putting, you know, heart and soul and blood right. and sweat and tears into it. And some of the other furniture actually imported from places all over the country. You said even the chairs we're sitting on here are from different parts of the world. Right. What is that like bringing it down here to South Georgia, North Florida? It's fun to me. <laughs> um, I, I enjoy when the customers come in and they, uh, they look and they've never seen it before mm -hmm. and they want to know a little bit of history about it. Um, like I said, the chairs you're sitting in, uh, it's called Shisham wood. Uh, it comes out of Himalayans. Oh. So, uh, it's not something that you'll find in every, you know, furniture. And it looks great, and it's actually comfortable. It really so is. So I like that. And this was fun. As you guys were bringing things into the studio, we're like stopping and looking at every piece saying, oh, look at that. That's phenomenal. It's not like, oh, yeah, we got some chairs out in the back to fill people in. This is something right. special that you're bringing into people's homes. Right. We want people to, you know, if you're looking for that for that certain statement piece, just set a room off. Mm -hmm. We want to want you to be able to come into the store. I mean, most of our items are unique. A lot of the stuff you won't find anywhere around here. Right. So it gives you that that option to you know find that perfect piece for the perfect spot. I love it. I got some ideas around here, looking around here. We can put you guys to work, right? You saw some of the contact information there on your screen. You guys are out in Bainbridge. Uh, you got some great hours. You're on Facebook as well, so we will be sure you we link you on our website, WTXL.TV, so you can see everything that you guys have to offer. We certainly appreciate giving us a little sneak peek into the showroom here. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Stay with us. We are back in just two minutes.
What a matchup here to start their NFL careers. Heisman Trophy winners Marcus Mariota and Jameis Winston going head to head yesterday for uh, Sunday football. Made for good Man. TV for sure, but both making their professional league debuts. One clearly outshining the other. Ron Snyder has the latest in this morning's Sunrise Sports. It's what every little Pee Wee football player grows up dreaming about. Your first NFL game. Jameis Winston, the former Knowles quarterback, making his NFL debut. The former Knowles quarterback starting things off against the same quarterback he lost his last college game to. Oregon quarterback Marcus Mariota, rematch of the same two quarterbacks from last year's Rose Bowl, Buccaneers and Titans. First quarter, Mariota's already scored, so Winston trying to answer it on his first NFL drive. Winston, that wasn't how he drew it up. Cody sends the ball, picks it off, and returns it for a touchdown. Winston, the first quarterback since Brett Favre in 1991 to have his first NFL pass picked off for a touchdown. Winston 0-3 in his first NFL passes. Second quarter, it's already 21 to nothing. Winston making something happen. Connects to Vincent Jackson for the touchdown. His first career touchdown. Bucks trim the lead down to 14. But Mariota answers to make it 28 to 7. So Winston back to work except the Titans defense back to work as well. Charles Sims, the pass was intended for, but it's picked off. Winston makes the tackle. Winston, two touchdowns, but also two picks. And the Buccaneers lose 42-14. to You can't start off bad, you know. And, and when, Coach, when Coach Lovey says, start fast, start fast, you know, he really means it. You know, uh, you, 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 can't get, you can't get behind. You can't do that to your defense. I say that we, uh, their quarterback played better uh, today. Uh, their football team played better today. The coach did a better job of coaching their football team than I did today. It, it's no more than that. We have the guy that's perfect for us going forward. Two more Bills making, or two more Knowles making their debut against the Indianapolis Colts, playing for the Buffalo Bills. Ronald Darby, the former Knoll, look at him playing cornerback in his first game, making an instant impact, picking off Andrew Luck. Returns it back all the way close to the 50-yard line. So, second quarter, Bills on top, 10 to nothing. How about another Noel? Carlos Williams, get out of his way. First down and the touchdown. Williams, six carries, 55 yards, and the Bills win 27-14. to 14. Yeah, it was a little, communi little communication problem at first because they was going to hurry up, so I was trying to get the play in, and that's when they stopped it, so I was a little slow off the line. But I play ain't over till it's over. And I'm going to compete to the whistle blown. So I got back up on them, and then I looked back for the ball, and that's why I made a play on it. Two teams that came in the NFL together, Jacksonville and Carolina. Knowles receiver Rashad Green making his NFL debut, and down 10 to 3, first down. Jacksonville, thanks to Green. Later in the drive, still dependable in the red zone. Green coming down with it, his first NFL touchdown. Unfortunately, it was the Jags' only touchdown, and Carolina wins 20-9. That's it for Morning Sports. Have a great morning. Oh, man. Football's back. Football is Whether back. Whether you like it or not, right? Uh, I know it's back because the Bears lost. So, yeah. yeah, football's back. Uh, <laughs> well, looking at college football here, it looks like Winston-Salem State University owes the Valdosta State some good old North Carolina mm -hmm. barbecue. That's right. Uh, interim VSU President Dr. Cecil Stanton agreed to a friendly wager with the Chancellor of VSSU. It said that if VSU won, Chancellor Elwood Robson would send over the NC BBQ, but... If the Rams won, Stanton would have to send over some Georgia pecans. The VSU Blazers did not disappoint here. They beat out the Rams 31 to 3. So I think they get extra barbecue there, right? A full slate of ribs. Right. For did, them. That's the thing. Did they just get the sauce? Or did they get something to go with it? Did they get Ooh, pulled pork? I hope they... that just ship it on down in a freezer. And, something. Uh, but we'll be waiting have for a that. Big old party. We'll Invite you, me. We'll let you know when Winston State Chancellor decides right? to uh, to make good on his promise. Make there. good on that promise. Uh, we'll Speaking of barbecue here, Green Bay's Lambeau Field becoming home of the world's longest bratwurst yesterday. Oh, great. Uh, record setting 120 yard, 250 pound Johnsonville brat was grilled. Oh, to perfection for Packers fans there. Um, so the giant brought was an idea cooked up as a way to mark the start of the Packers season and the 100th anniversary of Delaware North, the company that runs concessions at Lambeau Field. Mm. Of course, a 120 yard brought needs a 120 yard grill. Oh, wow. The party raised $40,000 for charity. It, it was looked really gross when it was all raw and like looked like 
It's good thing we started with that video, dead, though. Right? Like, mm -mm. Sure tasted good, though. How did you, how did, did you just like, like get a spot and everyone's just lined up and you just dig in? Like, how does that work? They meet in the middle. Don't you have so many questions about the, the 120? All the way, oh. <laughs> Lighting the tramp style. Exactly. <laughs> Stay with us. Sunrise continues in just two minutes. <laughs>